Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a continuation of my clothing series where I select an article of clothing, whether it be a shirt or a blouse or jeans. I did one on jeans. Um, I did one recently, most recently on maxi or midi, midi length skirts. So definitely check that one out if you haven't checked it out. But I have now accumulated more blazers, from, enough for me to make a third part to my blazer segment of this series. So yeah, so this is part three of Blazers for Every Occasion. Definitely go and watch the part one and two that are on my channel. If you haven't seen them yet, definitely don't wanna miss that. And I'm just trying to squeeze this last one in before the summer really kicks in. It's already starting to warm up, which I'm excited. I know everyone is very much also excited about um, but I'm definitely someone who's more of a fall, spring girl, even more winter than summer. And summer is cool for me for like the first few weeks and then I'm over it because like I sweat very easily and I have very oily skin and then summer tends to really bring out the worst in my skin. So it's more for personal reasons. I think, I guess everybody's reasons are personal. But yeah, um, anyway, so I'm just trying to get this in because very soon it's just not going to be appropriate for wearing blazers anymore. Um, but this, this spring is, I think it's officially going to be spring in a few days, so trying to get it in. Anyway, so I'm kicking things off with this video right with this first blazer. And this first blazer is a new one. I got it maybe about two, three weeks ago from Farfetch. And I'm obsessed. This blazer is stunning. It is very sexy. <laughs> so you can honestly only wear it to a few kinds of occasions. One of them being obviously like a girl's night out when you really try to be out here and look sexy and fine. Um, this blazer definitely is that. You, I would wear this to like, I'm thinking Vegas, like a Miami club, a bar, definitely girl's night out type of outfit. Um, and date night, of course, I think this is cute for date night with someone who's probably like more serious that you've seen for quite a bit. Definitely not something to wear on, on the first few dates. Definitely caution against that. Um, you know, date night with the boyfriend, the husband kind of thing, or long-term partner. But yeah, I love this blazer. It is a Alessandro Vigilante blazer. Now I looked up Alessandro Vigilante. I've never heard of him, but I've heard that he's been recently appointed the creative director of, I believe it's Simone Rasha. Sorry, I kept saying Simone Rasha. It's just Rasha. So I, I was confusing it with another brand. Sorry. And I absolutely love it. I can't say it enough. It has obviously this big giant cutout detail here in the center, and it's like a crisscross kind of like bra that's kind of structured. It has like a little underwire underneath each cup, and you hook together the two pieces at the neck, right at the nape of your neck. And I absolutely love it. It's a snap button closure down here in the front to cinch kind of the blazer together. And it has pockets, functional pockets on either side. It is made of 100% wool, and I am in love. Now, Alessandro Vigilante is someone who he's worked, he's not new, like he's just like very under the radar and like not very well known yet, but I feel like he's definitely coming up. Like, look at what he's put together. This is his own brand, and I can only wait to see what he's putting together. So I'm wearing it here with this skirt. This skirt is numero 21, or number 21. It's asymmetrical. It has like a really cool, like flare detail, ruffle detail on the side. And it's very durable, very thick and warm, super cozy. Like I said, safe for work, great for church, and more formal events, for sure. But this blazer obviously is not safe for work. So I thought I would play with kind of like making it less sexy by, by wearing or pairing it with this more formal skirt. But yeah, the skirt is really cool. It zips up all the way. It's like, you know, your classic pencil skirt. Zips up, you can unzip it all the way. Like that's how you would enter it, like, wear the skirt. You can completely open it up and then unzip yourself into it and adjust kind of like where you want the slip, which I love. But yeah, and um, shoes are these Dior shoes. They're super old. They're from like, I think like the 2014 collection. And I've worn them before, so if you see my videos, you've seen these, they're not new. And um, they're definitely not very comfortable, I will say that. So, but I love how the sporty vibe, because the, the, shoe, the shoes have a sporty vibe, 
but they also have the same kind of burgundy, beautiful, gorgeous, burgundy rich color that's um, ma that matches this blazer. So that's kind of why I put them together. And then of course this bag, Celine classic box bag, which is also in that same kind of dark burgundy red color. But yeah, love this look, love this look. I can't wait to shoot it. And I hope you guys like it too. Oh, and this is in size four. Uh, so it's Italian 40, which is a US four. The skirt is a US 4 as well. I think it's a UK 8. Or probably, no, Italian 40 as well. So 4 for the blazer, 4 for the skirt, and it fits true to size. And also for support, again, this is for the girls of the committee, um, the itty bitty one. So, you know, if you are more well endowed, like you can wear it, but. You know the spillage. I can't. I, I can't say that that might not happen. I don't have much to, to work with, so usually I don't. That's not a concern of mine. I mean, I you know maybe would wear a little more tape. I don't have any tape on currently, but you know, trying not to like go crazy with my arms. I think if I was gonna go out, I would wear tape. You know, just to hold and secure it down a bit more. But like for the purpose of just this video, I'm I'm not wearing any. So. Just a little tip there for, for the girls. Okay. just over the top, everything is bling bling, embellishments, sparkle, crystallized, like they are that brand. They just love going over the top and like making a true statement and putting all the things into their pieces. And I love it. It's just full on glam and it's for like the real girly girls. I feel like I'm definitely more of a girly girl for sure, but like I do have moments where I'm like not girly girl. Like I like things that are just very much like Androgynous as well. I like. I really do dabble into like androgynous kind of looks and vibes, and so I'm a girly girl with a little bit of you know edge here and there. But again, this is just a full-on girly girl outfit, and um, because the blazer is so is so colorful and vibrant, I decided to keep um, the bottom part, at least the jeans, more casual, and. Um, yeah, these are my favorite, like, I guess, I feel like everybody's favorite jeans, the Margiela cutout slip jeans. And I usually don't wear them with heels. I usually wear them with flats or lower shoes or with mules or slides. And I actually really like how it looks like in heels. I think this is my first time wearing this look in heels. And I like how it kind of elevates the jean and really reveals like the, like the figure and like the shape of the jean. It's just such a beautifully shaped jean. And yeah, the heels bring out its true form. But anyway, so the blazer is just, I think it's wool, to wool blend, and I love the structure. But it has like pads, or like this really heavily, heavily padded like um, area on either side of the pockets, left and right, and it gives that like, like kind of like voluptuous, like balloon kind of a silhouette or illusion that you see here. And I love it, it just, it's so cool. Like it gives it such a cool, shape and structure. I feel like only brands that really care about like quality and making sure like sh things like structures and shape really come out in full form in the vision that they have for the, the outfit. Like only brands, like certain kind of brands like really go the extra mile to do that and Aaron is definitely one of them. So yeah, I love this blazer. I wear it all the time. I wore it to the Brooklyn Museum 
exhibit for Mugler that my sister and I went to last year, then that blog is on the channel, so go and check it out if you haven't seen it. It's a really good one. One of my favorite exhibits ever. I love museums, and honestly, the Mugler exhibit's been one of my favorites, like, ever. But yeah, and the fun part about this blazer is that it has a cutout in the back. Let's pull my hair back so you can see it. But yeah, it has a, a cute little cutout design in the back. And so because of that, I can't wear a bra, but like it's fine. Like I said, I don't really, I honestly don't wear bras that often. Um, but yeah, I just absolutely love this outfit. Love the look, love like the, you know, casual jeans I kind of paired it with. And then I topped it off with these Prada pumps. And I've worn these before. And um, the Prada pumps are like, like a turquoise, very similar to the turquoise um, color on the blazer. And the blazer itself has turquoise and pink all throughout, and the, like the background of it is black. And it's houndstooth. I love houndstooth. Houndstooth is my favorite print pattern, hands down. Anything houndstooth, sign me up. But yeah, the, the, that's the print that's all throughout. And yeah, um, it has these three buttons in front that you can adjust, which is great. And it has crystals on them too. So very much area, like I said, very bling bling, very much, you know, they're all about show stopping pieces. And that's it, that's the look. Oh, and then for bag, I have this Brandon Blackwood mini trunk. Now I love Brandon Blackwood. Everybody, like, if you know me, I stand for Brandon, Black Brandon Blackwood. But um, this, this bag, like the latch broke and it doesn't close, so I can't really wear it anymore. And they tried repairing it and like it didn't get fixed, so. I think that they've done better with their later bags, like their more recent bags, and like the latch design is a lot different. And so I, the most recent Kendrick trunk that I purchased was like the blue slim one, that's more like the east-west style. And um, so far that one is fine. And the latch is like a V-shape and it seems more secure. So hopefully that will hold up. I want to say I got this in a four because for area, NYC I run two to size, um, but it might be a six. It might be a six. Um, and then the jeans are Italian 40, which are a US 4. Um, shoes are Italian or EU 41, which is a US size 10 in women's. And, oh, and this look, I usually like to wear it with the uh, Vivian Westwood Bass Relief 3 Pearl or 3 Strand Choker. I have, a one, I have one with silver hardware, like the globe is in a silver hardware color, but, um, it's, it's a very uncomfortable choker for me. I realized that I have a very thick, big neck. I didn't know that until, actually, I didn't know that because Eddie Bargo had this really popular like chain choker thing several years ago. And I, it couldn't, I just couldn't, it didn't fit me. And they only had one size and I was so sad about it. Um, and then I reminded again about how big my neck is because this Vivian Westwood choker does not fit. Like, I, I can get it on, but I like, almost can't breathe. So, the bass relief is not for me. I wish they made it so it had some elastication. Because there's, there's like these metal strings um, that are like coils, and I wish they were elastic or stretched a bit so I could have some room. But um, yeah, I have a big neck apparently, and I think that's because my head is big. And so you need like a big neck to support a big head. For all the big head people out there, shout out below, let me know if that's what you also go through or experience with like necklaces and chokers that like they just don't fit you. Um, I feel like I should kind of like, I don't know, I wish brands made things more inclusive in general. So like more size inclusive. So um, anyway, but yeah, that's the look. Let me know what you think. collection. 
that happened last year, May. So about a year, coming up on a year. And I showcased a couple of them in my earlier, I think part one blazer video. So you can check out two other pieces or two other, three other pieces technically from that collection that I purchased. So this actually is a men's blazer. The other pieces I got were women's pieces. This is from the men's, the men's collection and it's a men's blazer and it's i bought it like i don't know i don't know how men's sizing works but it's very oversized it's not my size <laughs> and i love it it's like a simple like i feel like mugler can't even do simple when they do simple there's still there's still some edge to it and it's just kind of held together by a single button here in the middle and yeah like i, I wear this to work it's a great kind of topper like Oh, you're wearing something, or you're cold and you get cold at night. This is a great kind of thing to just top over. I can wear it off the shoulders. It's uh, wool, so it's, it's, pretty, it's not heavy. It's, it's kind of a lightweight blazer, which is why I feel like you, you can just throw it on to kind of any look to make it more polished. And it has a single button, sorry, single pocket here at the um, kind of the breast area, and it's functional. Anyway, but I have it here with, I'm doing a Mugler, again, Mugler on Mugler look. Underneath I have a pretty popular bodysuit by Mainline Mugler, and I got this, uh, let's say a year ago, not a year ago, maybe shorter, I definitely got it much later, like much after the Mugler collection, Mugler h and collection pieces, so I would say maybe like six, eight months ago. And the color of this uh, bodysuit, the Indulu, I love how it's very much matching with the shoes I have here. These shoes are by Malone Soyer. I love Malone Soyer. They're so underrated, but um, these shoes are one of their famous shoes. I forget the name of them. Sloan, maybe? Don't quote me on that. Um, but I remember first seeing it in Solange like so many years ago, and it comes in so many different colors and like texture variations. Like this one is suede. There's some that are all like solid leather, some that have a combo of both. Some that have two-tone colors, and I just, I love these shoes. They're so sexy. They're super lightweight, but they're not very comfortable. I will, I will say that. I will say that they're just not very comfortable, unfortunately. But they look good. They look good, and they look really good with this look. So, yeah, sometimes beauty is pain. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the look. Let me show you back here. Um, like I said, it's a men's blazer, it's quite simple, kind of has that exaggerated shoulder silhouette that Mugler is known for, and it just kind of very much slims all the way throughout um, at the bottom. But yeah. And then for bag, I have the YSL takeout bag. I'm sorry. YSL takeaway bag. It's the takeaway. I keep calling it takeout. It's takeaway. And it's meant to look like a takeaway or takeout kind of package. The pants are Y Project. Y'all know how I feel about Y Project. Y Project and Mugler are my favorite kind of edgy, like androgynous brands. So these pants have like a deep V. Y Project does a lot of these. And they've done a lot in the past at least. And it's held together by a center band here that's like sits at your waist. And um, I like to wear it with this bodysuit because it kind of, you know, there's nothing that really gets revealed. Um, it's a full kind of coverage bodysuit. Some bodysuits just have a slither and I'm like, uh-uh, not doing that, not today. Um, but yeah, it's super cool, I love it. It's very much on brand for my project and I figured it just looks very, very cool and works very well together with this um, Mugler blazer. But yeah, I love the pants. The pants are just so cool. They're like this satiny, color or they're like this satin texture or fabric and uh i like how the texture kind of differs from the mugler blazer the, the mugler blazer is more of a wool texture and like i said the pants are satin and yeah i'm thinking of like getting them cut or trimmed a bit not trimmed but like showing the hemline because they are quite long and i kind of want it to be more of a slim polished kind of streamlined pant. I don't really want this to sag or bag. I kind of want it to be kind of straight, to fall straight. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll see about that. The pants are uh, US 6, which is a EU 38 or French 38. The Y Project sizing is French sizing. So yeah, that's a US 6. 
And then the shoes are a EU or European or Italian 41, which is a US size 10, usual size. Anything else? Mugler bodysuit is a French 36, which is a US 4. But yeah, that's the look. Let me know what you think. Like a fashion panel, 
I would wear this because it's like very much businessy, but the skirt is too short. But I think like in the fashion space, like not corporate fashion, but like, you know, like I said, if you're going to like a networking fashion event and you're like a panelist, I feel like this would be the fit. This would be a fabulous fit. I don't even be talking about it. the color, the structure, the silhouette. I haven't worn it out at all yet. And so I'm trying, I'm trying to think about the perfect occasion to wear it to. Um, I mean, if I wear this on a date, you know, I don't, not really. <laughs> this is probably a man repelling look. Um, but I'm the queen of men repelling looks. So, um, oh, and for sizing, uh, this suit, so that's both the blazer and the skirt, are both France 36, which is a US 4. And the shoes are US size 10. Um, for the skirt, I mean, it's not available to purchase, like I mentioned earlier in the video. This is a very old suit. I bought it years ago, pre Balenciaga controversy. Or if you happen to find it, let's say, on the resale market, I would say size up one size at least because it's really snug, like super snug. Like, I really would have been a lot more comfortable in a six. And also, I would like a six more because then I can pull it lower. Like, the, right now it's high waisted, like, it sits right up my, like, right here. So if I wanted like to make the skirt look longer, I can pull it down more if it's a bigger size. And yeah, so just a little tip. And I did that with the Mugler blazer I wore, or the Mugler suit I wore with the matching skirt in my first Blazers for Everyday video. So I know I've already did a shameless plug earlier, but here's another one in case you didn't remember to go check out that first part of this blazer segment but anyway yeah large like waist belt um this is a belt by Dehanche, i believe is the name of the brand i worn it i've worn it before in a previous video this sweater dress video i think it was like part two to that segment um it was like the yelanushka like wool sweater dress and i like layered it with this belt and it gave it a nice kind of two-tone monochromatic pale pastel yellow kind of vibe and I loved it and this belt is super cool you can honestly wear it as a top I will probably do that when the weather gets warmer and when I start to wax my underarms again because they're not really <laughs> they're in the winter hibernation stage and nobody but me gets to see that um but yeah so I love how this look came together the blazer is from the Frankie shop and it's one of Frankie Shop's staples, so they will always have this, they'll always make this. It goes in and out of stock because like people sell it out and then they replenish it. So again, I bought this, I would say pre-COVID and they still have it to this day, but now they even have more colors. I believe I saw a white and an olive green color. So love that it's like one of their staples and it's one of the few things I feel that I've shown you guys that you can actually still purchase. But yeah, I got this in a small, and it fits just right. If you want a little more room, I would suggest going a size up, but like maybe more room for wearing more bulkier, like layered fabrics or clothing. Otherwise, the small fits fine. I would say this is definitely true to size. And yeah, I love it. It's a very cupped hourglass. And so, um, I mean, much, much of it is cu cut off by the belt, but you can see a, like the bell part of it at the bottom here 
And yeah, I wanted to give a pop of color. It's a very neutral look and I felt like the belt would give a nice pop to an otherwise simple black look. You know, the shoes are black, the bag is black with some accents. The um, jeans are, you're, you know, light wash denim. So I just wanted to brighten things up, you know me. And I love how it came together, very casual. You can wear this to a multitude of different occasions and places. You can wear it on a date, you can wear it just to go like museum viewing. I love museums, so I'm always dropping museum suggestions. <laughs> um, you can wear this to brunch, you can wear this to dinner, you can wear this to, you can even wear this to work. Sans the shoes, like I would probably wear like a classic pump or flats and something, you know, layer like a blouse, but down blouse or even just like a, tur a turtleneck or a tee, you know, if your office is not super, super suit. I feel like everyone's business casual these days. So if you're in a business casual office, like a t-shirt, I always wear tees underneath blazers. I can totally rock this on casual Fridays. I can wear these jeans. They're simple. They're not distressed. They don't have any any holes in them so they're definitely safe for work belt is one size fits all it's one size fits all and so and the rope you tie it around your waist like at least three four times over so there's a lot of room um, to adjust as as you see fit and the bag Versace the shoes are by Charlotte Olympia Charlotte Olympia is a now defunct brand, which is so unfortunate because she made such beautiful, gorgeous shoes. She was very talented, her shoes were great quality, and I loved, they were just pieces of art on her feet. Almost like Sophia Webster, if you're familiar with Sophia Webster. Um, but anyway, I think she was a New York designer as well. Um, so that is sad, but I'm glad I still have, like, I think I have two of her shoes. So the gold ones I just described and then these. So yeah, I saw these on Rihanna years ago and I was like, ooh, that's cool, like whatever. I just kind of like, you know, didn't think about it and then I think Charlotte Olympia had a sample sale or like I don't know either got, I think this may have been a, a quarter purchase honestly I'm uh, thinking about it and they were like super discounted I got them for like under 200 I think and I was just so thrilled and I wear these all the time they are in great condition for how often I wear them they're super lightweight and comfortable walk I can walk for hours in them just like very much like the brands of Schuller that I just previously showed you guys in the Balenciaga look and yeah, so cute, so chic. They're definitely a sexy shoe, so I would wear this, you know, like I mentioned before, for a date night and, you know, whatever. Oh, and then the jeans are, and other stories, I've worn them a few times in earlier videos. I run small in other stories, so I always size up. H&M and other stories, because H&M owns and other stories, and Haas, if you didn't know. I always, for those three brands, I, I'm always a US 6 or sometimes a US 8 because the US 6 is like a true, true 4 and I'm a, a between 4 6, so I sometimes need an 8 for H&M, just FYI. Let me know if you experience that too, it's always been that way. Even when I was smaller, when I was like a true 4, I still needed a 6 because it's like a true, like, maybe it's a small 4, I don't know, but I've always worn 6 in H&M. Whenever I would get a 4, I would be too tight. Yeah, that's the look. Um, shoes are US 41, which is a, sorry, shoes are EU 41, which is a US 10. And that's the look. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video coming from me. I am trying to be consistent, but it is hard. <laughs> but I'm getting better. I'm getting better. So I'm keeping the momentum, guys. I'm, I'm keeping, I'm trying, and, and 
you'll see more from me, I promise. Um, but yes, thank you so much. And let me know what your favorite outfit was, what your favorite blazer would be. I'm curious to know, leave your thoughts below. Um, but yeah, stay blessed, stay respectful, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.